Yes, this is Kenzo Extra Hot Forex. It's Wednesday, so let's go straight to our daily analysis. Uh, so I will just start with NASDAQ US 30 and I will finish up with uh, gold. So from here, obviously, everyone saw that uh, yesterday NASDAQ was just selling off, not only NASDAQ most of the indices were just selling off so it means uh, today we can see that recovery you see but i've already drawn my my support line here you can see that uh, from this area you can see that uh, this area it's where nasdaq used to support this is a daily time frame don't forget that this is a daily time frame so I think maybe, maybe you don't just jump on the market. I think maybe Nasdaq can still maybe push lower. It's possible, but I'm not saying it can do that, but it's very possible maybe it can come around this area before it can push higher. But we can still go to a bit smaller time frame and see maybe what we can get from there. So let's try for our time frame. So before we go to a four hour time frame, just want you to know that I have a mega special. You can see that here. Uh, this is my free Telegram group. You can join it. I send sometimes I send signals, or maybe if you want some trading tools. But for the special, it's here. It's VIP member. It's fifty percent off. Just WhatsApp me or Telegram me on these numbers here, so you will get every information that you want to know so lo let's go to our analysis so here once we are on nasdaq you can see that on for our time frame we can still have another support let's see you can still have another support from this area i see i see like something like a support here uh, let's see that unfortunately i did not see this yesterday but now i realize that because sometimes you can't see everything at once uh, the more you stick you play around the market sometimes you don't see other things so that um, that's why you have to take a break sometimes so let me just remove this one or maybe it's fine you will understand this is a very strong support so this is the one that i call the inner trends line but since it's on a four hour time frame to me it's a very strong it means the market can still push higher so but what we can expect here i think maybe the market will come here and retest it's possible sometimes the market can't, uh, won't come here and retest it means the market can just push higher from this area so let me just zoom that so that we can you can see exactly what i'm talking about uh, you can see, okay, it's those people who are making noise, guys, so I hope maybe you don't hear them. Uh, you can see this support here. I hope maybe NASDAQ will just bounce back. If it doesn't bounce back, bounce back maybe you can ju jump on it, but it means your stop loss is going to be very far. Then I think maybe it can push higher. So if that doesn't happen, it means maybe NASDAQ can still break this support and push lower and we have another support here then maybe nasdaq can respect this support and push higher so but we don't know much about what will happen we have to stick to this one if maybe nasdaq push lower and respect this area we can say okay we can buy unless if we see a breakout then a retest before you can say okay now you can sell until there's a support here but at the moment the bigger picture is if you have your nice buys here i think you can still have a nice trading day here you see i think maybe the i think the market can still reach these areas today is th wednesday maybe before friday the market will be around these areas it's possible very possible so if you place your orders around this area if maybe you wait for a smaller rejection sometimes that rejection sometimes won't even happen it means you just have to just get in with a safe lot size place your stop losses then when the market pushes higher you will be in a very nice profit you can just put your target around here or maybe fourteen thousand 
maybe it's where you can have a very nice profit so i think maybe everything is covered here if maybe if maybe the market pushes lower expect the market to reach these areas it's possible but you know how the market plays it will just play around before it just shoot it won't just shoot exactly as this this happens but not as always you can see we sometimes we take some time before we have moves like this ones so if you see move like this you know that they won't just come as much as like every day so let's go straight to us 30 and see what we can get from there so the best thing is i don't want to take much of your time i just want to make this analysis very small so i hope my network okay still here uh, my network i, I thought uh, i thought maybe my network was gone but it's now fine so here let me just go to a four hour time frame i just want to show you something i also missed this one yesterday i don't know what really happened but earlier we did it on on nasdaq let's see or we can just do something like this let's do something like this here dotted line like that and call this a zone let's do something like that so you see here it's quite easy that the market was just coming around these areas doing something like that you see so let me just zoom that again and see maybe what you can see so this it's a zone guys it's a zone of support unfortunately yesterday i missed this one so it's fine sometimes you will miss some you can't get every on every opportunity uh, sometimes we do miss other trades sometimes we get other ones so here we are it seems like us 30 broke uh, the resistant here you can see here we are above our resistant maybe it will shoot up so we, you can just wait for that retest but we can see that on a bit smaller time frame but remember we can just draw double lines like this so that you can be on the safe side uh, let's see let's make this one dotted you might something like this something like this so i think maybe you can see that this is an area where the market will respect so for us to see maybe we're going to place another buy let it break here retest then we can say we can go to the upside but if we see an opportunity to sell it means we're going to sell here so the best thing that you can do here is to just watch this area and see what uh, will happen so let's go uh, to a bit smaller time frame and see what we can expect here you can see that uh, this is a zone actually this is a zone even here it's a zone so we can wait for the market to like to reach around this area when it comes to retest we can see we can have another buy but if that doesn't happen maybe we'll see another sell off it it's possible very possible because we are on a very nice or, or strong resistant so expect that to happen if we don't break out it means the market can go down or just because the market can see that okay everyone is just looking everyone is just watching around this area the market can just consolidate before then when you, you you're getting tired of the consolidation when you forgot then the market can shoot lower or up this is what used to happen most of the time so expect the market to go up or lower it's much possible so let's go to a b a gold guys don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like this information i hope is very useful so hit that like share with your friends if you want to be in my group i showed you what you can do you can even check on my description you will find everything so on gold uh, let's see on gold on gold let me go to a bit okay it's not auto on gold we here let's see let's see if we can get something 
So let's see from these areas and try to draw something if they do make sense. I think they do make sense. The thing is, this is an area, so the market won't just create perfect uh, moves. So we should know that uh, we sub sometimes we have to have moves like this. So mo uh, these moves won't be as perfect as we want them. So here on a bigger time frame, we can see that we are still on a uptrend, but you might see a different story on a smaller time frame. So what can we do from here? It means we have to go to a bit smaller time frame. You can see that on a bit smaller time frame, you can maybe we, we have, I think maybe we have something like this, uh, something, it was a trend line down trend. Uh, let me remove that something like this the market was just playing around these zones then here it was a breakout i remember yesterday i did send a signal around here i no longer remember if we may yeah i think maybe we lost or we made profit around this area but you can see that here we are on a zone where we can still buy again so i think maybe i don't want to waste much of your time it's either the market will push up or the market will break wait for that retest if it does break this support then we can say the market it can go down but around this area let me try to connect these dots here if maybe they connect it means we are in a wedge something like this then you can wait for that breakout then you can say okay i'm going to buy don't forget that uh, guys in like in a week time i'm going to create a nasdaq and us 30 course uh, I think maybe I'll just make it 30 days or yeah, 30 days I think is much better than it's where I will just teach people who doesn't know anything about trading NASDAQ and US 30 or even uh, German 30 or only US 30 and NASDAQ so that they can just learn those things from scratch and know much better. Uh, that way because there's people who doesn't know much about them so they do they want uh, something like that so i think i can provide that for them which it can help so let me know on the comments or on the description if you really like the idea then maybe i will try to help you this is kenzo extra hot forex don't forget to check my special uh, don't forget to check my special oh it's fine it's fine just check my description you'll find my details then will just contact me. This is Kenzo Extra World Forex. Bye.